AI videos are now getting absolutely crazy with AI tools like VO3, Minimax, and now full motion control with Runway Act 2. I can record myself, give the runway model that video and a single image, and it will realistically copy my actions, dialogues, and motion. The hype around it is absolutely real. We're going to review some posts created using Runway that were shared on Twitter. What I mean now, we're just having some fun and almost makes you forget that we're trying to solve a brutal, unfortunate murder. Hong Kong! Previously, a chocolate chip in connection to the murder of Prank Snarbo led Deputy Switch Pruckett to de- In this particular example, it is not a motion-controlled video, just a general prompt-generated video. But if we look at the quality, it is on par with the likes of VO3 and Minimax. So things are getting really interesting when it comes to AI filmmaking. Then that will lead them both to the resistance. We know you have it. Just give us the money. There is one example of motion control where the character mimics the actual person making the video. Not going to lie, this is quite an advanced technological wave we are seeing. If we put it into perspective, this kind of motion copying used to take Hollywood years to perfect. It required real skill and a big budget to get the body coordinates right. It is also heavily used in video games, but now with tools like Runway, it is easier than ever. Another example features a guy whose every body movement is copied into multiple characters. And the surprising part is that there are little to no hallucinations. Even the facial and hand movements, including those of anime characters, seem quite accurate. Here's another example. The top video is the actual footage recorded and used as a reference in the model. The bottom two videos are just copies. Not going to lie, it did a really good job. The way the statue moves and performs is impressive and clearly took a lot of effort. The same goes for the bottom one. The crazy thing is that there is no hallucination, even though lions pass by. Still, the body coordinates and the movements stay consistent and do not interfere with the other objects. There is a viral video of JB where he mimics a popular moment from another video. Although the flaws are more obvious in this one, it was most likely a video-to-video -video generation. In the image-to-video format, the model seems to analyze the body more precisely than when both inputs are videos. There is also a part copied from a movie where the dialogues and mouth movements are aligned to a new face. Watch a parade where I'm playing myself inside you and waited to bloom. It didn't take me no 18 years to realize the soil was hard and rocky and it wasn't never gonna bloom. You're not the only one who's got wants and needs, but I held on to your toy. I took all my feelings, my wants and needs and dreams. These tools have become so advanced that we can no longer easily tell what is AI generated. It is honestly scary where things are heading. It has become so easy to input any image and make the person say anything. This could lead to a lot of problems related to cybercrime. There is very little regulation for it right now. Since these developments are so recent, there has not been enough time to study them properly and create policies that both support the growth of AI and prevent harm. Please, no! No! Oh no, God! It only works with a paid plan. You have to choose the Gen 4 video model. Each three-second video costs 15 credits. You need to provide your reference video and your character input. The character input can be in either image or video format. So I did show you my generations. Let me know what you think.